Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can distinguish between fixed and variable expenses, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So expenses are things that you have to pay money for each month as an adult. And fixed expenses, for the most part, they stay the same. The amount that you are charged or the amount that you have to pay every single month stays the same. So one example would be uh, if you're living in an apartment, it might be rent. Sometimes you rent houses. Uh, if you are buying your home, it's called a mortgage. But either way, typically a lot of your rent, your mortgages is the same every month. You have a certain amount that you need to pay $1,200, $1,500, $1,800, and that stays the same month to month. That doesn't go up or down. A lot of times when parents are buying a car, what they do is they take out a loan, sometimes between uh, four years, five years, even up to seven years, and then they cut the amount of the car and the interest on the loan into equal payments. So that's typically a fixed expense. Every single month, they have to pay the exact same amount of money to pay off that car. There are a few monthly bills that sometimes uh, will end up staying the same, like a uh, cell phone. If you're paying for cell phones, typically you're just paying for a plan. So that um, might stay the same every month. If you've got a family plan, it might be $120 a month. And it typically doesn't go up or down based on how much you use your cell phone or how much data you use. Those typically will stay the same. Also, if you have high-speed internet at your house, that's another one that's it might be bundled together with your cell phone, even your TV. Um, so we'll put internet and cable because those two sometimes come together. But a dish, typically that just stays the same no matter if you use it every day, all day, or whether you never use it at all. That type of bill usually stays the same. And then finally, if you have any type of um, service that you pay for, like Netflix each month, or maybe Hulu, uh, Disney Plus, something like that. Typically, it's the same amount every single month. You pay for it whether you use it or not. Now, on the other side are variable expenses. So these expenses change. There's not a set amount every single month because it all depends on how much of that service you buy or how much of that service you use. So we talked about uh, some bills that are fixed. A bill that typically changes would be your electric bill because you're only paying for what you're using. And so if it's in the middle of the summer, typically your electric bill goes up because you're using a lot of energy for your air conditioning in your house. And usually your electric bill goes down in the wintertime because you're not using as much because it's not as hot. Uh, this can be fixed though. Sometimes they have something called average bill pay. And so an electric company will take your electric bills over the entire last year. They'll take the average and they'll say, you know what, rather than your uh, bill being variable, we'll make it fixed. We'll just charge you the average every single month and that will probably work. So sometimes that can make that into a fixed expense if you have average bill pay. Your water bill how much water you use. Typically that's not average bill pay that comes from your city and that is variable. If you use a lot of water, it goes up. If you don't use as much water, it goes down. Something that every household needs and which is extremely variable is groceries. Every time you go to the grocery store, you have to spend money in some months you spend a lot and other months it's not so much. So that's a variable expense. It changes based on how much you use it for. If you have um, a car and you're driving a lot, gasoline is definitely a variable expense for two reasons. Number one, the more you use the car, obviously the more you're going to spend on gasoline, but also the gasoline prices change every day. Next time you're driving around, notice the price of gasoline and then look at it the next day. You'll notice it goes up or down. And then finally, whether you're uh, eating out, you're getting Uber Eats, you're buying clothing, uh, that type of expense always changes. It's variable. It depends on how much you do it and how much you use it. So that's the basic difference between fixed and variable expenses.